What's up guys, it is Kelly and if you follow me on Snapchat or Twitter then you probably know that I just moved this weekend and I've been so busy I haven't had any time to film. So I did film this video like a really long time ago and I was just sort of saving it for a rainy day just in case I was ever too busy to film and it looks like that time has come. So today I'm showing you this video. The only problem is that I did it so long ago and I was like I'm totally gonna remember what colors I used and I totally don't remember what colors I used. So I did go and I just tried to like guess a little bit on which colors that I was using but I promise you guys if I ever figure it out I will update the description but for now let's just get into this super quick tutorial this is just a super basic French manicure this is like my go-to way to do French manicures I know I did a video on how you could do it with acetone but this is like such an easy trick I use it all the time so let's just get started so this is what I probably used I probably used my Cuccio base coat shiny glaze change your altitude ice cream nails pineapple punch and my Cuccio top coat. But the one thing I know for sure that I did use were these What's Up Nail vinyls. They are these French tip guides. They're amazing. I use them all the time. Literally the easiest way to do a French manicure. So for whatever reason, I also decided not to film me putting on my base coat. This is me applying the polish. And this is why I'm like not sure that this was the China Glaze because it was a one coater and I don't remember that being a one coater. Anyway, I am also going to apply a quick coat of quick dry top coat. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna protect the base color from getting peeled up when I apply the sticker. And I want to wait until the top coat is completely dry before I apply the sticker. That's why I like using a quick dry one like the seven second one. And then once I apply that sticker, I am going to paint on my French tip. You can of course use any colors you want, but I love doing like a neon and nude or a neon and gray. And I think that just looks so cool. So that's the colors that I decided to go for this manicure. But like I said, you can really just do any color. So I am not going to wait for that yellow color to dry before I peel off my sticker. You want to peel it off as soon as possible, just so you avoid getting any smudges or making any mistakes like that. And then once you have peeled that off and the yellow has had a little bit of time to dry, then you can apply your top coat again. And that is it. This is a super easy manicure. Like I said, this is probably my favorite way to even get a French manicure because it's just so simple. It always looks cool no matter what color scheme you do. And I just love it. So that's it for this video. Like I said, I did just move. So hopefully Hopefully I'll be able to start filming again soon. The good news is I actually have my own room to film in, which I'm so excited about. So hopefully my next video will be in there. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.